Hey guys, it's uh, December 26, 2022, the day after Christmas. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. We had a good one. Um, and I hope you all had a good one. And if I don't see you guys, I hope you have a Happy New Year. We are headed to a no heat call. We have several of them today. Some of them came in on Christmas and Christmas Eve, and I was out of town at my dad's house, so... You know, I told them, you know, it'd be today before I could get to them. And, but I also told them if they had to call somebody else, I, I understood that too. And a couple of them did choose to call somebody else. And, uh, but most of them said, no, it's okay. We can hold off. We understand it's Christmas. So, uh, we are headed. We just left one and I changed the relay out. Uh, one of them carrier relays on the heat kit last week. And he called me this morning and said that the unit would run a little bit, then it would trip the breaker. And he's got like a sub panel inside the closet uh, that controls the air handler. It's a federal, it's a federal sp uh, Pacific sub panel, and it's old and it keeps tripping the breaker. It just can't handle the load. So we got to come back after the new year and replace that sub panel because he's leaving to go out of town today. This one here is a uh, repeat customer. He's got a lot of rental property. He gives me a lot of work and they have no heat. It's like 50 something degrees in the house. So we are only about four or five minutes away from that house and I'm hoping to get some film on this one for y'all. So let's go see what he's got. Okay, we're making our way through this scutter hole. We have a train air handler back there. It seems to be heating now. She said when the extreme cold weather quit, you know, it was down to like 15 degrees over here. But she said when that went away, it seemed to start heating again. But I can hear our contactor buzzing inside that train air handler because train uses contactors. This is one of the older train air handlers the TEE or the TWE and I want to make sure all the heat strips are working this okay it's a TEC okay here we are it's a TEC air handler I can hear a contactor buzzing. Definitely got a contactor buzzing. Insulation falling off the air, the door. It's only got a 10 kW in it. That's probably a lot of the problem. This is an old, old house. We're gonna change that contactor. Yeah. 
10 are working. So it's doing everything it can do. That wire will handle a 15. That wire is plenty big enough to handle a 15 kW. I don't even know if train, if you can still get the heat kits for these things or not. Try to get it to shut up a little bit. I don't think there's anything wrong with the contactor. I think it's just buzzing. I'd really like to put a bigger heat kit, but on a mild day, this will work. It's a, oh, it's a four ton air handler. Yeah, we really need to change this heat kit out to a 15 kW. I'm going to record the model and serial number off of this unit and we're going to quote him a new heat kit. The supply houses are closed today though. Fifteen kW is just not enough to heat this house. Let's see if the train store is open. Just for giggles. Yeah, is this the parts counter? Is this Tiffany? Hey, it's John Israel. How you doing? Good. Hey, do y'all still make uh do y'all still have the heat kits for the for the TEC air handlers? Really? Okay, because I got a customer here that's got a four ton with a 10 kW and they need a 15. It's just not keeping up. So you'd have to order it and it would take three to four weeks. You see if you got a 15. Okay. So it, it, we could get it here by Wednesday. Okay, what's my price on it? Oh, wow. And that, uh, that's that's with tax i'll see what he wants to do um and where where is it at okay all right i'll see if he wants to change it or if he wants to let it ride it, it just it i mean i know with this extreme weather the 10 kw wouldn't keep up i mean it's so i don't know if he's going to want to let it ride or change it but i'll let you know Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, girl. Bye-bye. Wow. Train wants a lot of money for that heat kit. All right, guys. Our second call... 
is a bad X13 fan motor in an ICP. Got my table here that my good buddy Curtis showed everybody. I'm also trying some PB Blaster. Curtis uses it, seems to have good luck with it. I've got jack of all sprays on the truck. I've got air coil and I picked up some PB Blaster. I've used this on a few things, it does good. Problem is, can't find a supply house open. I don't know if this thing's in warranty. Uh, it's a 2012, so it's possible, but I doubt it. Yep, it fell right down. Beautiful. PB Blaster is good stuff. It's never done that before with uh, the Croil or the Jack of All Sprays. That's somebody local calling me right now. John Israel. Hey, look. Hey, Laura, it's John Israel. How you doing? Good. I need a fan motor or a, blo or a blower motor. Um, Y'all still have them evergreen uh, X13 motors in stock? Okay. Right, is there any way you can access it without going to the store? Okay, I need a, I need a, I need a third horsepower Evergreen E as an Echo, M as in Mike, E-M. That's it. 208, 230. Uh... It doesn't say on this one. This is the original motor. It should be like, uh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I found another tag. 208, 230 volt. 1050. Yep. Yeah, they told me, emergency told me it was $100. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just pass it on to the customer then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that was Baker Distributing. And they, uh... I put a mark where the plug needs to go. That was Baker Distributing. She can, uh... She can access the computer system from her house. So that's what she's going to do. And she's gonna call me back and let me know if she's got one of those evergreen motors. Nope, it's not that one. It must be the brown one. Yep. I sprayed some uh whatever that stuff is. What did I do with it? Oh a PB blaster. Everything came right off. Come on, baby. You slid right down. Uh oh. Well, that sucker had slid. Let me let me jiggle it a little bit. Oh, my crescent wrench. Oh, I'll put it up.
me sand it some more. See me spinning the shaft in the wheel in the hub, so it should come off. Damn! There we are. Only thing that sucks is I can't leave all my stuff on this table because I'm at a condo complex. So I'm gonna have to clean all this up. This is our uh, third call for the day, I believe. Taking the belly band off. Probably would have been a good idea to spray that. I gotta find me something. I gotta find me something to put all this in so I don't lose it. All right, guys, we're leaving Johnstone. Baker did not have. She can. She was able to access the computer from the uh, from her house, and they didn't have a, a replacement uh, X13 in third horsepower. So I called John, my buddy that works at Johnstone. I'm really good friends with him. Let me mute that. I called my buddy from Johnstone. He used to work at Goodman. Now he works at Johnstone. Uh, our Goodman store here sucks. But uh, so that, that's why he left and came to Johnstone. And they had this in stock. I'm, uh, this is uh, U Rescue made by US Motors. It uh, covers half and third it's the ez 13 rescue it uh it does if you, I, i'm familiar with these because of curtis the hvac guy for those of you that watch him uh there's no programming or nothing you just plug it in and it'll turn one way and then turn the other way and once it figures once it feels static pressure then it'll turn the correct way so basically it'll turn then it'll it'll spin one way when you start it then it'll stop, then it'll spin the other way, then it'll take off in the right direction and stay on. So it's just like the Evergreen, but these are priced a lot cheaper than the Evergreen. The Evergreens are expensive. These are much better priced than the Evergreen. 
you, you know you can actually a customer can actually afford to keep their ECM motor with these so that's what I got her and uh, you know I, honestly I don't know if the unit's under warranty or not because I have no way to verify it everybody that sells ICP is closed I can't get a hold of them but it's a 2012 so the chance I mean we're almost in 2023 you know I mean we're, we're just a week away so the chances of it being under warranty are slim to none. So this is the route she's gonna have to go. And that, that's just all it is, you know? So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys when we get back over there. All right, so we got our motor. There's a tab right here to switch it to 110, but we don't want that. We're 208, 230, so we're gonna leave it be. My other stuff. Set screw. Put a leg in front of the plug.
good. My plug needs to be right there. I put two of these in upside down. Took my sweater off, that might have been a mistake. All right, guys, I'm going to put my table up. Just like that. That should be everything we need. The only thing I need upstairs is a drill in my meter just to make sure everything, you know, the heat strips are pulling in and everything, which they were. They were pulling in and cutting off on high limit. And uh, I just need a drill to screw this thing back in. And uh, she should be good to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Plug it in now. This is like so. It's on. I'm going to cut the heat off. I just put the fan on, on and let it rotate. There it goes. So it's going to spin that way. It stopped. Now it's going to spin the other way. Okay, it's stopping. Now it's going to take off in the right direction. Kick on, motor's coming on. It's a seven KW heater. system well now we know for sure it's out of warranty installed 9 6 of 12 we've passed up September of 2022 so there is no warranty left even if this thing was registered so we did the right thing and uh, it's working it's heating thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one